society saying, this society is preventing me from doing it. This is not true. No one in the Netherlands is preventing you to be faithful to your faith and religion. No one. If you don't feel good about this, don't project it until it's too easy. And some of you are still very young, born here, speaking Dutch, saying, one day I will go back to Turkey, to Morocco, and I will be a good Muslim. <laughs> it's as if in Morocco you have only good Muslim. Go in Morocco. I like Morocco, by the way. I always say that in my identity, Morocco is uh, my country by adoption. One of the countries that have them, I like Turkey the same, but I know how it is. I was myself thinking that one day I would go back in Egypt. I went there and I was idealizing Egypt. I was idealizing that they have, they have good people and bad people and sometimes it's very distressing because you see people, you think, oh, you are a Muslim like me, but he can cheat at you, he can. He can. Yes, he can. <laughs> <laughs> So the point here is really to be very, very realistic here. And you decide for yourself here, it's a commitment with religion, the fact that you know there are the five pillars, the five prayers per day, the uh, 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 fasting. This is up to you. You decide for this. But this has also to be embodied in something which is a spiritual journey. Be careful not to understand this only as forms and conditions. Not to forget that at the end of the day, all these are pillars. You know, the, the prophetic tradition is clear on this. Buniyal Islam ala The Islam is, is built on five pillars, but these are the pillars. The perfume, the atmosphere is coming from where? From your heart. The way you deal with people, you are polite, you serve the people. The best among you is the best for human beings. Not only for Muslims, for all the human beings. You go out of, the, of here. And this is why I wrote this, and this is the connection with the second part of the question. I wrote this book on the on the prophet, peace be upon him. Why I I I I I I, I wrote this book to make it accessible the way he was with the people, the way he was with with nature, the way he was with women. Yeah, some people living in the 21st century they have to come back to what he was, the way he was dealing with his own daughter, with the wife around him, with with slaves, the way he was listening. You have some people here, in, in this room maybe, when they have their daughter, you know, maybe young, or their sisters, they don't listen. Women, you go and you read that he was listening to slaves, people who were nothing in the society. And you, when you were a slave woman at that time in the Arab tribes, it meant nothing. You are nothing. He was listening because he was respecting. So this is where we understand that practicing your religion is not only a formal thing. It's your heart, is to serve, is to give. It's, it's a way of living this. And no one in the Netherlands is preventing you from doing this except your own lack of discipline personal discipline with your own self. Okay, of course, of course, of course, that, of course. <laughs> of course, there's one more question.